Okay, so little project for today. We are installing a automatic chicken door to our chick shop because, well, to be honest, mom's tired <laughs> of getting up in the morning <laughs> to let them out. Um, it's, it's, it's quite early, yeah. So uh, this is a bit of a Christmas present to, well, more so her, but to the rest of us too. It'll allow us a bit more freedom from the chickens. Um, if we need to go away for a couple of days as a group, then we can do that. Uh, so we bought this chicken door made by Omelette. Um, it's battery powered and you can set a timer uh, for it. So this is us trying to attach it to our chip shop. So what we're trying to do is we're actually going to add the piece of wood that you're seeing here uh, to the outside of the chick shop and then we're going to cut an opening where the door is actually going to be positioned um, into the actual wood itself. So uh, let's get started with the cutting. Um, this will be a little bit of a tricky exercise because we really don't have a jigsaw per se. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is start with the circle saw, just make the cuts in the middle and then see where I can get from there. Uh, we do have hand saws, so we're probably going to have to resort, resort to that. Mm, no. enough or not. So our hooks are in the way, so we gotta remove them. But we won't need them anymore because we'll have a permanent door. You're right, the 2x4s are that way. What's up, Blazer? What's up, Blazer? Maha. Heidi, what you saying, girl? Mirabelle, what's up? Blazer, be good. You never know what this one's going to do to you. Are you nice enough? Shh. 
She fits. Ooh. She do, she do. This is an easy, easy install. Yeah, it looks good. The pro the problem is laser. Be a good okay, girl. Okay. Uh, you're not gonna be able to lift up the ramp with it being that. Yeah. No, like no. try lifting up the ramp right now. Laser, be nice. Oh, I guess it's okay. Yeah, see, it lifted it up. If once it's in place, you're not gonna be able to do that. So shall we take the ramp off? No, we can't. No, we can't. They need the ramp. Maybe what we need to do is lower the ramp because we don't want a gap. How is the ramp attached again? Laser, I'm watching you. Uh, the hinges. The Don't hinges you dare are, peck me. Are up into this space. Come on, ladies. Come on. Laser two. Laser and laser together again. I'm being surrounded. It's okay. Yeah, so can we lower the hinges a bit? You think? I do believe. That'll be good, because then it'll be a nice tight fit, because we don't want any gaps. No, you don't want to take those off, Dad. You want to take the ones that are attached, and we're going to lower it. Don't you do it, laser! <laughs> She's pecking the camera. <laughs> Don't you peck me. Alright, you can peck my shoes all you want. Feel free. Don't peck my legs. It hoits. You found the imperfection in my boot. Ready? Yeah. Got a hole in the side. Will that work? Yeah, it should work, right? I'd say go whole hog and put it down farther. Like, even further. Yeah, just so it's really not in the way. It becomes a little bit more difficult because right now it's resting on the first rung. It doesn't need to rest though. It's always going to be down. We just need to be able to lift it up a bit. I know, but how are you going to hold it in place? I'm going to need another set of hands. Yeah, yeah, I'll come help you. Okay. I just need to set this down. Hey, be gentle, girlies. I don't know what gentle is. <laughs> so it's not gonna work bad, it needs to be flush, right? Oh, how are we gonna get this? Plug them in from there. He's the most random set of screws. Hey, don't peck my hand. Laser.
Well, we can um, use the zip ties to keep the rest of the cord. That's true. Do we have enough? Um, can you see? Is there? Oh no, it's like right there. Well, it's so it's, it's fine. Sides. Yeah. I was just seeing it. It's secure. It's just secured at the top of it. Damn. Other side. I think it's more than enough. There's there's not going to be a lot of force that is going on. Right? No. Right. One more there. Hmm? Did five, five, five. Okay. All right. So this one has to go this way.
What you doing, ladies? What you doing? Hmm? Okay, now we have to program. figure out how to program it. Hmm. So a couple of them have marched up the, uh, and then they stop. Sorry, but there ain't no food there for you. Okay, my elbow is not your food. Laser just Set it for like 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. or something. Yep. I'm gonna, gonna get it to detect. Ooh, the six eggs today. Oh, so it has a light sensor? Yep. <laughs> okay. By yourself? Yeah. Who is that? Uh, white. Oh, good job, laser. Leader. Always the leader. Oh, hey! We gotta get those eggs out of there. Oh, she might be wanting to just sit on them. There was, a, there was, a egg, there was an eggshell in here. Was there? From yeah. yesterday? Yeah. yeah. It was here when I ca came and measured, and now it's not there. We definitely have an egg eater. Don't you do something. Whoa! Hi, Heidi. But, oh, nope. Red. Ruby. Oh, jeez. Is that Heidi? Yeah. Heidi. Bad call. Heidi loves a good hi, hide. Hi, hide. Don't ya? You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy, crazy. Just sticking through. <laughs> okay. Setting the current time.
These goofers. They're always curious. Something's different, they gotta check it out. Go Heidi, go! Go Heidi, go! That's a good view there, laser. Laser and laser. Press down until you reach the mode. Yeah, okay. And then press and hold. I think they found treasure over there. Hold to close. That makes quite the sound. Well, theoretically, that shouldn't chop anyone's head off. Uh, it moves slow enough. It's got an automatic uh, sensor as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, score. I wonder how sensitive it is. Okay. Setting the current time. They don't seem to be mad about coming out of it and in it. They're going in nicely. You're going in as well? And out? Uh, has one come out? Yeah, well, they've come out. So this one's name is Heidi. You can tell by the blue little tag on her ankle. She is named Heidi because she likes to go high. If there's anything ever high, she will go on it. And then she will also escape. She's our escape artist. If anyone gets out, it's Heidi. I do not understand this. Time to watch some more YouTube videos. <laughs> do your job faster. That's what they're saying. Here comes one out the door. Good job. Who are you? Uh, Ruby. Alright, so it's installed!
and theoretically set up so that when the light level goes down by what? Well, it's a light level of 6%, basically. So that's looking for very little light, considering that it's reading at 100% right now. Oh, okay. So when it goes down to 16% for a no, consistent 6%, six. Six for a consistent 20 minutes, then the door will shut. So that's in case, like, say there was a cloud passing overhead or a car light shone on it or whatever. Um, it won't just, like, do what it wants momentarily it has to be consistent and then it'll close so yeah and so that's the in, that's the install in the so it'll constantly be there and the girls seem to be happy to go in and out of it a bunch of them have done that while we've been here um and then they still got the ramp in place for them to go up and down quite easily it'll be a little bit harder to move but we'll just have to like hold the ramp up when we move it and we've got some eggs being collected we do seem to have a bit of an egg eater, but sometimes I think it's just because if there's an imperfection in one of the eggs and then they just go for it. So six today, which is pretty pretty normal. We've had a few days of nothing. Less. But that's okay. Okay, so we'll give you a report back um, at night and see if it actually works or if the chickens get locked out or locked in, depending on which way we're talking. Uh, they won't be locked in, at least not tonight. Yeah. All right. See ya. Locked out. Awesome.